In his first season with the Rockets and in America, Luis Kleinschnitz has fit right in. The freshman has a winning record in singles play. Toledo head coach Al Wormer found the German native in the summer of 2018 in a showcase event in Europe. It's sort of like speed dating. It's only like a 15 minute segment with each kid that, you know, and his dad. And I was just so impressed about this guy's work habits. And I met Al in Cologne. Uh, yeah, so I decided to play college tennis, and here I am. Luis, he's a lot of fun to be around. Funny guy, always in a good mood, seems like. Uh, really never complains. He's got a great sense of humor. Uh, he's uh, very reliable. Uh, he's very unselfish. Pretty much everything you'd want from a guy on the team, a teammate. He's an extremely hardworking guy always in the court working extremely hard and then even after practice a lot of times he'll go to the gym, lift and play extra, always wants to play extra, uh, motivates me like whenever I'm not wanting to go and practice hard, he always like, I don't know, helpful with that, motivating me. His backhand is extremely, extremely solid in uh, both all of his ground strokes but he's just a fighter. He's going to fight for every single point, he's going to hit every single ball as, as well as he can and, never give up no matter how dead his legs are. That's, I mean, probably the best guy on the team for just fighting for every point and coming back and being able to beat guys later in matches when they're tired and he's still going strong. Well, that fighting spirit was put to the test last summer. Just weeks before he was set to leave for Toledo, his mother, Kirsten Kleinschnitz, died following a battle with cancer. Luis admits he thought about staying in Germany, but he knew what his mother would have wanted him to do. A special woman, I would say. Um, she teached me a lot, she, um, and she told me never give up. And she wanted that I come here, so yeah. Yeah, the way she raised Luis um, is just—I mean, it, it rubs up, rubs off on everybody around him. You know, you start to become the people you're around, so it it really does make a huge difference. And I have an amazing team. It's my second family, and they make it very easy for me to be away from my hometown and I enjoyed a lot to be here and the team chemistry on the court but also off the court I like it so much. I expected him to be way more emotional and uh, have a lot of struggle with it a lot more but he's really kept together and he talks about it sometimes but not not a ton. Of course I can talk with them and I do that they listen to me they try to help me but the best thing what they can do is just treat me like I'm a normal person. That's what they do. I'm sure all the other guys are watching him and sometimes they gotta stop and just say, well, I, I don't know how this guy is doing this. And I'm sure they got that it's a, he's setting a great example for them. So it's a 360 degree, you know, dy dynamic. Luis has a pair of constant reminders of his mother. When I came here, um, I got a tattoo. It's like the day when she died and an angel and that's like on my necklace. I got that from her. And that's what I wear every day. And the team is also keeping her memory alive. Now we're going to connect with the Cancer Association. We did a Relay for Life um, in the fall at UT and we're going to get kind of an ongoing relationship and have uh, worked out all the details but do some things that matches and stuff like that and he's on board with that and I think that's you know something that's going to be good for all our guys and I think he'll appreciate it also. That was amazing how, how many people turned out there, it was a humongous crowd and I think Luis thought it was pretty cool. 